Good morning. Welcome to beautiful Winter Park, Florida. This is a cute little Tony town outside of Orlando and it's filled with brick streets. We're in the heart of it right now, Park Avenue, where they're having their annual Arts and Crafts Festival. So this is Old Winter Park. So today we're going to uh, tour a different part of Winter Park. We're going to go see Sarah Boone's Winter Park. Let's go. Before we go to Sarah's world, we've got to stop at Starbucks. This beautiful Lake Virginia. Look at this, guys. Gorgeous brick streets, palatial, beautiful old homes. Gorgeous old, old winter park. Kind of a turn of the century vacation destination for people from the Northeast. Absolutely beautiful. And just to the left, you have gorgeous college called Rollins which maybe some of you've heard of. So that my friends is Old Winter Park. Now we're gonna hunt over to Sarah Boone's Winter Park. All right let's go. Okay y'all we're at the scene of the crime. Do a quick film and I will show you um, Sarah Boone's last apartment and unfortunately where poor George lost his life. Okay, so let's film now. I think they've renumbered the building because there's 4748, which technically is this building, but it just looks like the, because we think it's this one right here next to that tree. Because if you remember that doorway right there, where I'm looking at right there and there's the tree. Guys, that's the retaining wall. Remember when Sarah talked about how she would go in the backyard in the morning and have her cigarette and when George would ride his bike to the Ace Hardware job and there's like a bike path back there in the retaining wall, that's the retaining wall. And again, there is her apartment right there. So that is where he would drive, uh, ride by in his bike. See, like I said, pretty cute. I, I would be a little freaked out with this water here with kids and God knows the gators in there, but cute. I mean, it looks cute, but anyway, um, there we go. Just kind of eerie. Let me zoom in again. <gasps> okay, so that was creepy. My friend agrees. That was, that was sad. I wasn't, I was surprised, I was sad and kind of chilled by that experience. Um, we're right now parked in front of the management office. Um, I'm about to enter in our next destination into my GPS. So let's see where we're going. Okay guys, we're at step two of the Sarah Boone World Tour. Um, we're at the now closed Ace Hardware, which is where George worked. Um, but remember, at the time of the murder, he uh, the built the the um, business was closing down. In fact, that was something that Sarah was very upset with that George had lost his job, and the the, the Ace was shutting down. And so and she kind of was making it sound like it was bad management. But in any event, that's all not relevant. Just pieces of information that Sarah Boone likes to give us. But in any event, here it is. It's still closed down. It's not pretty, but I'm going to show you. Um, what is the Ace Hardware location. What is most interesting to me is how close it is to Sarah Boone's old apartment, which we knew from her interrogation that it was very close. So um, I'm gonna push pause here now and I'm gonna show you the Ace Hardware. Okay guys, here we go. Here it is. The old Ace Hardware, which unfortunately it closed and it has been still closed um, to this day. So that's kind of where we are. And just to give you a sense of where we are. And again, here just down this street is Sarah Boone's apartment. So very close. Not much to show here, not going to spend much time because there's not much to see, but there we are, step, stop two, Ace Hardware, now closed, George's part-time job. Okay, now we're going to stop 
three of the Sarah Boone World Tour. Where do you think we're going? You're going to find out soon. We are here. We are at Publix. Ah! So this is the Publix that um, Sarah and George shopped at. And, um, and most importantly, it was the Publix that they went, that George went to uh, that Sunday and picked up the wine. And from what we understand, um, the surveillance tape for the Publix will be admitted as part of the evidence and trial. I'm also in the same shopping plaza, if you recall. Sarah said there was a convenience store where they would get their cigarettes, and it was basically kitty corner in the same plaza as the Publix. That's the Circle K, which is right behind me, and I will be filming that as well. So here we go. So here's the Publix. Here's the plaza. Back over there is the road we just came in from Sarah's apartment and the Ace. And then right there, we've got the Circle K. Y'all, we got some Publix Woodbridge special, guys. I bet she probably did the value bottle. Let's see, what's the price? I mean, we have inflation. $10.99. It's probably cheaper than $10.99. So there you go, guys. This is the wine aisle in the Publix. Okay, guys, we are here on our next stop on the Sarah Boone World Tour. This one isn't confirmed, but what I've come to is a plaza with what I believe to be the pool hall where Sarah met George um, back when she was still married to Brian. I'm pretty sure this is it just based on the, the proximity to Sarah's apartment and generally where she used to live and also the Publix. Okay guys, here we go. There is trick shots. I'm pretty sure that's the pool bar that Sarah would go to that we know from Brian Boone's interview. Um, and then here, right there, is another bar restaurant called Devaney's. So again, not far. And then, if you don't like that, right in the corner, you've got a Tijuana Flats, which is kind of a chain, I think it's local, but it's a chain, like, Tex-Mex type place. Um, this one kind of looks a little sad, but in any event, boom. Oh, there's a wing stop. I don't think they have alcohol, but in any event, if you want some wings, and you've got your trick shots and your Devaney's. To give you some context of where we are, right over there is the Publix. And there's the Circle K, see? So we are all, this, this vicinity of everything is just so close to each other. So let's take a walk closer to Trick Shots and see what's up. Look at this place. It's like no one's here. It's open. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna go in. I don't think I've ever been to a pool hall. I could have been, I don't know. I'm not going in. But in any event, I think we would stick out like a sore thumb. There's no one here. Okay. So guys, again, we're basically in front of the trick shots and you can see right there, I'm filming, I'm gonna zoom in. That's the Publix. So, I mean, we're not talking a big world here. Unfortunately, Sarah's world was not as bright and large and fun as Disney World. Um, this is not the Magic Kingdom, guys. Okay, guys, we are at the Orange County Sheriff's Office. This is where Sarah came down the day after the um, incident. So that next day, um, she came down for her now famous uh, interview slash interrogation. Um, so here we are. I'm going to show a little bit of video shoot um, in a second here. It's a little weird. We think we're not doing, we're in a public parking lot, but 
I don't know. It's always interesting to be at a, a police station. <laughs> Makes you a little nervous. Which still baffles my mind that she did not think to bring a lawyer with her when she went in for questioning. Always bring a lawyer if you're going in for questioning. And if they start giving you Miranda rights, tell them you want to speak to a lawyer. Even if you're innocent. You just just that's a best practice okay so not legal advice just recommendations all right so we're gonna film right now let's go okay guys so here we go the Orange County Sheriff's Office and there we are and then that right over there is I think where she would be transported so pretty big parking lot um, Nothing much to say but again this is where she came down without legal representation and gave her now famous interview where she was not acting intentional and of course they were having a very what was it lovely day they were having a, good day. They were having a very good day but anyway here's where she came down that day and spoke to the two detectives and eventually was at the end of that interview arrested and I'm fairly certain that is the staging area where they transport folks to the jail. Which, guys, is going to be our final stop. But anyway, there we go. See you at the next stop. In case you really can't figure it out, here's another sign. Okay. Now first starting out as typical in any jail, of course you've got lots of bond um, outfits, right? Unfortunately for Sarah, she didn't get bond now. Now, we do know from her interviews that she had bailed uh, George out a few times, so it's possible. I don't know if she used a bail bondsman or if she used her own money to bail him out or Brian Boone's money, I guess. But anyway, this isn't what's interesting. We're going to turn around and look at her home now. So guys, that building back there is actually the jail. That part in the front is the booking and release center, but like if you look way in the back, that's the actual jail. It's kind of hard to see, but that's where Sarah is. Hi, Sarah. We hope to see you soon.